As you can see from the title, this is another school-related video. You guys will be seeing what my exam weeks are like, how I prepare, what I do, maybe also how I cope with stress, online classes. I mean, I've been adjusting, but I still haven't fully adjusted. Am I good at coping with stress? I don't know. Good morning didn't focus earlier anyway i actually woke up at 8 30 but i did vlog right away because i was like too sleepy it's a holiday today but i was thinking why not start my exam week vlog hmm what are the things i was supposed to tell you first our schedule is kind of weird we usually have our performance task days a week after we have our exams but well, we can't do that this quarter because christmas break our performance task days are going to be right when we get back after christmas break our exam days will be this friday december 11 december 14 next week december 15 december 16 and december 17. honestly there isn't really anything to memorize for our tests because since last year our exams in school have been understanding tests they aren't really like multiple choice exams. All the subjects are like all the essays. I mean, except for math, you still have to solve some stuff. The essays are at like the last part. What I have to do is go through some of the lessons so I could understand different concepts. Yeah, maybe I could also write down some notes because I haven't done that in a long time. I never really wrote notes this school year, maybe like just once and never used them. I don't study, oh my gosh. The grades are really important to me. Okay, that's really weird, but yeah. And the grading system does school year is kind of different instead of giving us number grades on the report card they give us letter grades and not like the a a minus a plus it's really early but i placed some tint and lipstick on for this vlog i think i've only placed makeup to class like twice or thrice my school checklist first like really 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 important stuff before i go through some pdfs because i have some deadlines coming up my enabling tasks senior quote and senior article for my yearbook they are due this december 11th i haven't written anything at all i need some inspiration i'm almost done with my autobiography for my senior high school application <laughs> I also have to film something or ask a con, the singing thing. I'll show you guys my checklist. Let's go do the important stuff before studying. I'm finally done with my autobiography for my senior high school application. I'm going to reread read and check if I have anything else to edit and also have a check by my parents, my brother, since he has experience on this and he's enrolled to that school now. Yes. I'm gonna go take a shower now. I'll see you guys later. Talk with Bob Boy and garlic parmesan wings for lunch. It's 5.37, um, big time jump. Showered, ate lunch. I also had to dress up twice and get ready because I have two Instagram photo deadlines. I'm done taking the photos already. On holidays, I'd usually just chill, but aside from the two photo deadlines, the quarter's almost over. I also have a lot of deadlines, so yeah, I can't chill today. Done with my autobiography, but there is some stuff that I have to edit. I think I have a senior quote already. I'm just not sure if I'm really going to use that one. Senior article, I'm not yet done with that. I also have English assignments that I do tomorrow. I might do them later. I was supposed to take pictures for my thumbnail, but he took my spot. It's fine though. Oh. I'm done filming. 
my singing video. I sang a whole new world for this school game. I submitted it already. Now I'm going to do my autobiography edits and my English assignments. I'm done with my autobiography now, but I think I'm going to read it a couple more times. Oh no, I was watching How I it's Met okay. Your Mother. It's okay, but I was watching How I Met Your Mother. Rewatching. He's rewatched it so many times. Almost done with my English assignments. I think I'm going to finish them before I sleep later. But for now, I'm going to work out. I've been so inconsistent with my workouts. No improvement. That's just so bad. Really bad. No decent lighting, so I'm using my flashlight again. Anyway, I think workouts are a great way to keep your mind off the stress for a while and also your eyes off the screen. The next day. Good morning. I woke up super late for a school day. It's now Wednesday, two days before the first day of exams. I woke up at six o'clock, logged in for attendance. I went back to sleep and I woke up around 10 minutes ago. It's now 11.27. Our math guided generalization will be up by 1 p.m. So now I'm going to try and study a bit for math, go through some PDFs, write down some notes maybe, and solve some practice problems. If you guys don't know what a guided generalization is, it's this practice test for the exam. We get that for all our subjects. For some, we get it in like different times in the middle of the quarter, and for other subjects, we get it a few days before the exam. I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. A lot of chicken schnitzel with cheese, fries, and some vegetables for lunch. So good. I'm done taking down some notes, and I'm also done with lunch. I don't know if you see that, but I'm assigned to do a blueprint of our gadget in physics. And I'm also drawing the top view. Our guided generalization is up, so I'm going to answer it. I have my calculator ready, I also have my notebook, and a pencil, but also my eraser. I use my pencil and eraser when I take my math tests, just so it would be easier for me to erase whenever I think I made a mistake and I can just change it. Hey guys, it's finally December 11, first day of exams. We are having social studies and English today. I wasn't able to film yesterday. I got extra busy with schoolwork. We have S mode classes in the morning. I started doing my IT scaffold. I'm not yet done with that. I'm still working on it. What else did I do? I also wrote my senior article and my senior code. I finally passed them. I'm so happy. I'm kind of proud of my senior article and my senior code. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I probably will when I graduate, and I hope I graduate with honors again. Currently, 12.04 p.m. Our exam starts at 12.45 p.m., but we have to be in our Google Classroom at like 12.20 p.m. I usually don't really have an appetite in the morning, but my parents tell me to eat before exam so I can like think properly. And also, I drink a lot of water. The thing is, we're not allowed to go to the restroom during exams. So I make sure to pee before the test starts. Sometimes the proctors also allow us to go and pee. Also, enough sleep, a good night's rest is important. So yeah, I had enough sleep. Um, these are the things I have prepared for an exam. A laptop charger, of course, in case my laptop starts running out of battery. Our cameras are required to be on like the whole time, so I can't just stand up and look for my charger. I also make sure to screenshot the numbers that they give, emergency numbers that you can contact in case you lose connection during the test. But if you guys don't have that, you can copy paste your answers somewhere on your laptop. If it doesn't allow that though, try to really remember your answers or if you're fast enough, you could write it in a notebook. So you can prepare a notebook and a pen. I'm wearing pajamas right now. This is the first time I think that I have makeup on before a test. For every exam I took this school year and almost all my classes, I'm in my jammies. I don't put makeup on. I have this prepared in case I feel cold later. It's actually part of the jammies I'm wearing right now. Yes, I'm still wearing jammies. I showered. So yeah, I could wear this later. Exam fit check. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, I prepared a blankie just in case I'd feel extra cold. Wish me luck, guys. Hi guys, one out of seven exams done. It was okay. I got disconnected once though. I made sure not to panic. I was able to reconnect right away. Look, the tab's still open. Congratulations, you've successfully submitted your responses. My phones were placed in this basket while I was taking the test. If you guys are wondering why I have three phones, it's because I take care of my old phones pretty well, I guess. My iPhone 6 is actually still alive. The screen's just broken now. It still works though. I'm alive, but I'm dead. Oh, oh no! Girl, oh my god, thank you, Mom! Yay! It's now 1.15 p.m., I think. Our next test is at 3.15 p.m. So while waiting, I'll be giving you guys a little guest tour. We were actually supposed to move this year. I wasn't supposed to study here for the school year, but because of the pandemic, so this desk is temporary. If you want to know more about that whole moving, backstory and also my online school morning routine that video link is in the description box hi you guys it's like 12 30 pretty cold i'm editing right now i forgot to mention that i have a dresser that could also be used as like a desk in my pink room it's in the other house i didn't want to bring it to this house i didn't know i'd be staying here for another year so i got this temporary desk i got it recently so i don't have stuff for it yet for the meantime i'm using my old stuff stuff from the past year so they're really bright and colorful anyway let's go what did i say about bright and colorful <laughs> Where do we start? Okay, I didn't know I was getting this mirror. It was sent to me a few days ago. Just touch the mirror and change the light according to what you want. There's this, there's this, and this. My mom also just prepared some water. She insisted that I have carbonara since I didn't eat lunch. That looks so good. Then we have my laptop. Guys, I promise you, I'm going to change the case soon. Next up, we have the spinning organizer thing. Puns from Tita Cindy. Sis, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> These are Muji's. I also have a smaller one somewhere here. I don't know what else to put on top, so I placed three scrunchies. Now I'll be showing you the stuff I have here on top. Hi, Yoda! This S was one of the decorations on my 15th birthday last year. Some notebooks from Typo. Another notebook from Typo. Kipling pouch from Sim, who replaced me as grade 9 commissioner in Comma Lake. Hi, Sim. Thank you again. A box. Another box. This Instax pouch. Er, a Stranger Things notebook. Look how cute. This flip book. I haven't finished reading it yet. Flipped is my absolute favorite movie though. Another pencil case from Typo. I left my other pencil cases in school. This owl from Dita Kate, which is in my pink room for the past few years. Some Instax photos of Liana and I. A photo of Cindy and I taken last year. And a photo of me in quarantine. This little cat dish from Mara. Bucket, smaller ones. My ID for the school year. Alcohol. Thanks to Tita Leslie for this. This is my chair. I also use this pillow with it. You can actually recline this chair. I just lowered it. Yeah, it's reclined. It also has a wire and buttons for a back massage. Not much, honestly. Just some vibration, but it's fine. Done with the second exam, and I decided to work in the dark again. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know I was in my jammies for like 80 or 90% of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. We're getting closer to 100K subscribers. Go follow me on all my socials. My Instagram, at SophiaCicated618. My TikTok, at, so at SophiaCicated618. My Facebook page, Sophia Margaret Ta, at RealSophiaCicated618. And my Twitter, at Real Sophia Talk. I'll see you guys in my next video. Watch out for it. It's super exciting. I can't wait. Bye. Stay safe and good luck with classes if you're having online school.